Hey, welcome to the third and final part of the prayer closet cleanup. Don't let this closet fool you. My first prayer closet was in my tiny college apartment. And if you don't have closet space, no worries. A prayer space can be cultivated anywhere. Just find somewhere quiet, maybe a little wall space if you want to hang up any prayers. So this is my third prayer closet. Now I use my old mattress topper from college and my old bedspread to make it all cozy. And I was using these mugs to hold my pins and my Sharpies, but my mentor, Sierra, she started a pottery business. And now two of her works of art will be with me each morning. Aren't they so cute and special? And for the mugs, they'll go back to being used for the way they were originally intended. But what about the prayer cards? Yes, I do keep them. Let me show you what I found from last year that works really good. So I punch a hole in the top left corner and I put the prayers on a ring binding. Reading the names that God placed on my heart throughout the year to pray for brought me so much joy. Do I know how he answered or is answering all of these prayers? Not always, but I'm so grateful that he is in control and he takes care of his kiddos. And it's a simple joy to lift them all back up to him.